In this video, we're going to cover how to replace a uh, power folding mirror on a GMC uh, Denali. It's a Yukon. It applies for the uh, 2007 and up GMC trucks or Yukon Denali's or whatever. Um, we're going to use a uh, rebuilt motor that uh, I got from Grooven Parts. And uh, I'll put links to some of the products for you in the description. So to start with, we're gonna take the shell, the outer cover off. Now I've already pre-loosened this shell on the uh, mirror, but basically you're gonna come in here with a, a plastic pry tool and you can get these at Harbor Freight or Amazon or whatever. Like I said, I've got links in the description. So you're just gonna Put it in there like that and you're just gonna they just pop right off it's pretty simple um, i chose just to do the mirror motor versus going in and replacing the whole motor assembly i'm, I'm sorry mirror assembly because the only thing that really needs to be fixed is the motor and the motor that i bought has reinforced metal gears in it so anyway you just keep prying the shell off here in here plastic in there it just pops right off and then in here you've got your pedal lamp they call it you just twist it pull it off let it hang out there So there's a few things here we're going to do next. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is get this mirror off. And this, this is the hardest part of the whole thing is to get that mirror. Actually, putting it back on was harder than taking it off. And there's some tiny little spots in there. I'll try to show you here in a second. All right, so if we're looking up in there. We've got tabs. The circular base here is what the mirror attaches to. And there's these little tabs in here, right there. You can kind of see it at the end of the screwdriver. Those are gonna be popped up. You just push those up with the screwdriver. Hopefully I don't pop it off and drop the mirror on the ground, but um, th this is the worst part about this job. You can get the screwdriver in there and kind of wedge it, and then twist, pop each one of those things up. The other ones are kind of hard to get to, but you just do all four. Sometimes you get one started, this one right here, get that one off, and then the rest of them just kind of come naturally. So I'm gonna go around the other side and try and pull the mirror. Okay, so we're just gonna try and push up. And usually those tabs will the rest of them will pop loose. <laughs> I think last time I had a pry tool underneath here. There it goes. So I just got that one on the lower corner on the other side off, and I just pried up on that side, and it sort of felt like, it. yep, there it goes. So that wasn't too bad. Getting it back on, that's another story. So we gotta get all these wires out of here. What I recommend doing too, of course you got this video to watch, but I would take a picture of each step so you know where the wires went, where they go back on. Um, your heated part, that doesn't matter which one of these goes on either side, because it's just a in and an out, and it doesn't matter. But um, if they go back on the same way, fine. So we're going to set our mirror down here, and then we've got the motor plug right here. This is the top of the motor right here. I grab the uh, replacement one here. So I've got the replacement here, and it sits in there just like that. So the plug's gonna go here. Just 
just gonna kind of carefully pop that thing off of there. So there's uh, four Torx head bolts in there. Kind of see them there. And we're just gonna remove all of those. They're uh, T10s, Torx head, T10 size. holds the uh, tilting function of the mirror on. And there's a motor inside that too, so you kind of have to be careful with it. Don't lose them. Okay. There we go. And there's a connector right here. Yeah, don't lose it. You just pop right off there. I'm going to try and find that. We're going to remove the rear shroud now. And you just use your wedgie tools here. Pop it loose if I can. There we go. This stuff's pretty stout. I mean, for plastic and clips, it's a pretty stout deal. So you have just this... Uh, frame part here left all right so believe it or not they used pins to mount the motor and this house or this uh, frame part here so we're just going to use a little punch tool here um, and tap these out Just get them started here. If it's the first time you've done it, they're gonna be a little tight. These have been out before. So, well, there goes one. Sometimes they fly out. All right, and they'll be sticking out the backside here. Pull them out like that. So now we're going to remove the uh, what's left of the frame here. Just wedge this under here. Pop it right up off of there. Those wires up. Feed them through. And there's your motor. So something I want to point out what the old motor um, does when they're worn out or the gears inside here are stripped out. So you get a lot of play. Now that doesn't look like much, but when you get this piece on there, it exaggerates the movement. So the whole mirror is floppy. Cause you might go, oh, that's not too bad, you know? But then if you look at this rebuilt one, there's absolutely no movement at all. Pretty simple to remove this. Uh, it's just a T20, a Torx head uh, T20, which I'll put all the links in the description of everything you need here. And we're just going to remove all of them. And then you've got the wires that go down through the center here and you want to feed them. They won't all go through at the same time, but you can pull individual ones through first so that you have more room for the rest of them. Because it won't work the other way. And even this lamp goes through, believe it or not. It's probably the my most favorite part of this whole engineering on this mirror assembly was that you could actually pull the puddle lamp through the hole. All right, so I have fed the uh, wires back through the replacement motor, and it just sits right in there like that. 
So when I was troubleshooting before, before I ordered the new motor, um, I did not test the old motor when I put it back on because I had the whole thing apart. And um, just to see if I could uh, tighten up the gears or, you know, do anything with the old motor before I ordered a new one. I did not test it before I put it back together. So this time I plugged this one into the, put the plug back in the uh, replacement motor and I'm gonna test to see that it actually moves before I put it all back together. Worked, great. So thankfully this thing works. And um, you know, some of the other videos Mention disconnecting the battery, but I did not, and <laughs> it's not a problem. Just don't have the keys in the ignition. Um, I have not had any issues with doing that. But if you want to be on the completely 100% safe side, yeah, you can disconnect the battery if you want. But for this procedure, I didn't bother. One thing I want to talk about are prices. Uh, this motor here at Grooven Parts cost me $229. I'll get 30 bucks back if I send in the core to them. Um, I chose this because I had already had the mirror apart and to me it wasn't much harder than actually taking the door panel off on the inside and sticking a whole new mirror on there that might have came from China or who knows where. So I felt better about putting the motor in, replacing the motor. You can also get gears separately, but when you do that they cannot be the same um, wiring because this motor is actually grounded now with this replacement unit. That's what Grooven Parts does. I'm not affiliated with them, but with the research I chose this option. Um, scrub through this part just a little bit if you get tired. I'll just keep working on it actually while I'm talking. Um, so, you know, you can get those Chinese replacement mirrors on Amazon and then put the uh, replacement, I mean your original uh, factory covering back on those and that works fine because they're not painted uh, when you buy them on eBay or Amazon or whatever but I just felt like using the same parts when all you need is a motor was the way to go and uh, so far it's working You will pay just a little bit less um, by buying a really cheap, cheap mirror on eBay, but then you're still getting the plastic gears in the motor that failed inside of here. So my thought was, you know, if we're going to keep this thing, why not just do the motor with the new upgraded metal gears in it, and it'll be a lot more solid. Okay, we're going to replace the frame here, feed all the wires back through. I'm just going to leave the motor connected since it was working when I checked it. And it just sucks right down on there, like so. Okay, next we're going to put this back on this thing, shroud, whatever you want to call it. Just kind of leave it on there. Actually slides into these two little slots here. Yeah, I always want to watch the whole video before you start doing it because sometimes things will go a lot easier for you than me because you've seen it happen there we go just shove that on there it clicked right on and now here's one thing you want to remember where to feed that tilt motor wire and it comes down through this little slot here in the back side make sure you get that right and then when you get your mirror over here we're going to plug it in and then I'm sorry, the uh, the housing, the backing for the mirror with the motor on it. Okay, so we've got our, how, or our uh, tilt motor housing and uh, backing plate here. There's actually a little motor inside here. So this video also pertains to 
changing out your, your glass for the mirror or this tilt motor part if it stops tilting or whatever. Um, we've got our T10 back on here. And um, this one's pretty straightforward, putting this back on. Just trying to get these all lined up again. Um, let's put this plug back in first. There you go. Like I said, you can scrub through this boring part where I'm lining stuff up again. I usually just feed just a little bit of thread on each one. That way they go in evenly. Otherwise, you can get them crooked. You're gonna miss this part real quick, but. Okay, now we got to secure the motor, these pins. Once again, we want to equally try to feed them in there so that you don't get one off. And you can kind of see, uh, you probably can't, but you should be able to see all the way through on these. And if, if you're having trouble, just give it a little tap lightly while you're holding on to it um, it'll find its way in if you got one that won't quite go there it goes just lightly tap these things equally i did notice on the back side of this one that there's a little plastic that's broken right here and it was probably because of when i put it back together last time the motor wasn't quite lined up but um, it's still pretty secure Get it all the way in there. It's funny that they would use pins. It's almost like going back in technology. All right, so this motor obviously a lot tighter. All right, this is the part that I've dreaded the most about going back to. Got four tabs on the back of this thing, and then these little metal tabs. And you have to put them in or the top of these, and somehow they're gonna find their way back down in a downward force slot sort of thing. <laughs> and it's not easy. So what I would recommend is tilting your motor, your um, pivot and you know your motor for your uh, glass mirror down and then starting by lining up the pins on the top first. That's what I did last time when it went a little easier. And um, I'm gonna struggle with this and it's gonna be painful, but you just have to get through it and it can be done because this is the second time I've done it, but I'm gonna pause the video for here so I get both hands on it. Okay, so I just wanna show you a little bit more on what's going on here. See that top tab right back there? Uh, put my finger in there, right there. There's another one just adjacent to that. And they're gonna go on these, here and here. So I'm gonna actually try and show you this. It's really hard with the light or lack of light. You don't wanna drop the mirror, <laughs> but hopefully you can see that thing approach inside. And if you can keep this top part of that motor, the tilt motor, forward and out facing that way, you can probably get a, a bite on these clips. Okay, so get them both on there. There we go. Push it on. And then we have to use both hands. So I'm gonna get rid of the camera now, or at least the light, because I do have a hands-free mount on this thing. And it is a struggle. So I'm just gonna try and pop the top down at the same time I pop the bottom. Oh my gosh, that went a lot easier. So maybe if you're gonna do this procedure, maybe take this thing apart before you get the new motor 
you can check the motor, make sure it, you know, isn't working. And that'll help things loosen up a little bit to get back together. So that went on like 80 times better than the last time I tried to put the darn thing back on. Woo. So the bottom clip you can see right there is down all the way. That's good. And you can't see that one over here, <clears throat> but you can see this one is is on and down. Okay, so that's what you need to confirm that the top and the bottom clips are set. You can't see the other one over here. But if you've got the lower one over here and the one up there, you're safe. So we got a couple of things to plug into the back side of the mirror, the glass. That's this one plug here that powers your uh, your blinker. Turn signal and whatever. And then you got these uh, leads for your heater if you have a heated mirror. Pop those back on. And then all we've got left is the uh, puddle lamp. So now we just have to put the shroud on. We're done. Okay, put your puddle lamp back in the slot here. Push in and twist it, make sure it's tight. You'll notice there's two little hooks here and here. And then you've got um, a clip right here. Um, so it's probably easier just to feed this thing over the top first. Just kind of finagle it on there, get it over your wires there. There we go. Just takes a little bit of prompting. There it goes. So it's over the, oops, that one didn't quite make it. It's got to be underneath there. There you go. And then once you get it in place, you just squeeze it together and everything locks in. Of course, if you've got these aftermarket chrome things here, it, they look nice, but they kind of get in the way of this whole thing. So you can salvage them. Good. If not, get them on Amazon, and I will actually put a link in there for you on these beauties. All right, let's test it. See if we can make the wife happy, because that's what really matters. Ooh, that thing's way more powerful than than the uh, stock one. It's fast, way faster. So watch this. Way faster than the stock one. Cool. All right, success. I appreciate the like. If you want to do a like, if you got any comments, please, you know, make a comment. I'll approve it and I'll reply, you know, if it's good. And um, links to uh, any tools that I've used will be in the link for Amazon. It helps support my channel and I don't have enough subscribers. Um, so it'd be nice if I got some subscribers and I could support the channel to help make some more of these videos. Thank you.